And now, the moment has come for us to talk about the mid lane. A weak mid laner can systematically ruin a team's chances at victory, but a great one can secure it all by themselves. Let's look at the Mount Rushmore of mid laners. First on the list is a man who needs no introduction, Faker. The greatest of all time. How soon are we to forget the absolute dominance that Faker represented for so many years? A beacon of mechanical and intellectual excellence. Faker was there in every facet of the game, especially when during the brightest moments. MLXG getting low though, oh. he's gotta be careful, the knockup is in for Faker, make it number two, the boomerang not gonna land, it comes back, but it doesn't matter, a shutdown for the best player in the world. Bursting onto the scene, Faker and SKT took the league world by storm, smashing the LCK and marching their way to their first trophy in franchise history. The first of many. After a down year in 2014, SKT rebuilt around their man in the mid lane, and immediately the team was back on the map. SKT dominated at the 2015 World Championships, and although Marin received tremendous recognition, Faker was the true unsung hero. To avoid dying there, which is a little bit dangerous. Flashes were blown in the mid lane as well. It looks uh -oh. like Faker and Kuro went hard, so there's no flash for this. Hojin in a real bad situation with the last bit of mana. Faker takes him down 2v1. Same could be said for 2016, when Faker and SKT won another World's Trophy along with an MSI Trophy. But perhaps Faker's greatest individual performance was in his five game series against RNG. SKT was clearly on the back foot and nearing the end of their run, but Faker was not done yet. After five games on Galio, Faker proved that it's not the champion, it's the player. And even against the likes of Uzi, he was still the best. Nowadays, Faker is not the best mid laner in the world, but he is more than capable of going head to head with the best. His incredible play, leadership, and winning experience is unrivaled amongst League of Legends players, and he is definitively at the top of this list. Next up on the list is the rival to Faker that never was, Rookie. Rookie had everything to be Faker's rival. The mechanics, the champion pool, the game sense, he had it all. But for a while, Rookie fell victim to the case of a great player on a bad team. For years, the world was ignorant to the absolute masterclass performances Rookie was capable of because he could never drag his below average teammates through to worlds. Still, rumors of his individual dominance back in the LPL remained. That is until he finally got a legitimate opportunity in 2018. With the Shy as a solo lane running mate, a young AD prodigy in Jackie Love, and a meta built for solo lane dominance, Rookie showed the world what he is made of. Completed. This item as a first item costs significantly less than most other items will. Caps now gonna be CC. Broxton making his way towards the fight. Ming looking to go in, jumps back, able to find the stun. Caps gonna be taken very low. Hextech Automator comes out, but it's first blood over to Ming. IG he took the tournament by storm, dominating every matchup against every mid laner. Even great mid laners like Caps and Perks were no match for Rookie at this time. He went on to win the World Championship and cement himself finally on the world stage. He is easily the second best mid laner of all time as of right now. And now this is when this list starts to go all over the place. After the top two, there really is a lot of room for debate with the next two on this list. You can make a case for Scout, who won a world championship and has been so incredibly good at times against the best. You can make a case for Caps, who is the western goat in many people's eyes and routinely shows up against the best mid laners in the world despite coming from a quote unquote weaker region. And there's of course Chobi, who in a pure vacuum is one of the most talented mid laners in the world, routinely receiving praise from his peers. That said, I've settled on two different names for now. First up, is Doan B. Doan B is quite the character. 
And much like his joyful eccentric personality, Dornby is just as unique on the Rift. He is the most unconventional player to make this list so far, as he's not the mechanical phenom that Faker or Rookie is. He's also not a player known to smash lane. Actually, he does the opposite. At his best, Dornby knows how to sacrifice laning to make game-winning plays on other parts of the map. So much damage. He's coming. Dornby on the side. Get him. Oh! That's gonna be a three-man knockup. It's everything you want. Dornby's special skill comes both from his champion pool and play style that no one else can emulate. Dornby demonstrated just this, playing champions like Nautilus and Kled all the way to a title. And en route to the title, Dornby ran into many incredible, seemingly or supposedly better individual mid laners along the way, but none were able to diagnose the mad science that was Dornby. Although he doesn't have a huge trophy case, his profound skills and uniqueness at the position has helped change what we perceive as a mid laner's role. For those points, he makes this list. And the final person on this list is Showmaker. Listen, as I said, after Rookie and Faker, this list is real tough. But out of everyone left, I believe Showmaker is the most deserving of this final spot, at least for now. For one, Showmaker has won a lot. He already has a Worlds title under his belt and made another Worlds Finals the year after. But beyond the accolades, he is simply such a well-rounded star mid laner. And there was the Starax shield. Does he know? Does he know he's going in? Down to half mana. That can't be big. Fudge flashes away. They're looking to turn this on to Showmaker. He Woo! still kills him off. Now he's gonna can they both. lock him down? He's looking for the double. Showmaker gets in, gets stunned. But there's Vulcan low. Killer Insta coming in from Sven as well. Showmaker down. He gets the double. His mechanics are top notch. He can roam or play for lane. He can team fight or play assassins. Any and everything you need, he can find a way to be a playmaker for his team. Even with players like Chovy or Caps, there have been moments where they are unable to make the right decisions or they have poor runs of play, but for Showmaker, for the most part, he is so consistently good to great all the time. It's a tough distinction to make, but to me, Showmaker takes the last spot on this list. That said, if you disagree with me, let me know. Who would you change and who would you replace them with? And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, and see you for the next one.